Well, in this video, we are going to talk about the history of Honda motorcycles and Honda cars to find out which one is the first. Not only that, we will also discuss the meaning of the two logos and why the two logos are different. But before we start, let me play our intro. The story starts from the first motorcycle logo, the Wii. On 24th September 1948, Soshiro Honda found his first motorcycle factory which was named as the Honda Motor Company. When making his first motorcycle factory, Soshiro Honda was inspired by the Nikkeiman or goddess Nike who had a big wing on her back. Goddess Nike is the goddess of victory and success in ancient Greek mythology. This inspired Soshiro Honda who dreamed of wanting his product to be successful. Then, why don't Honda cars use wings but instead use the leather edge? So historically, Soshiro Honda started making cars in 1962 by producing the Honda S360 and T360. But he wanted there to be a different logo between his motorcycle and his car, so he didn't want to put the exact same wing logo. Of course, the design of the Honda car logo at first was not what it is now. In the past, the leather edge looks wider and still looks like an expanding wing. We can see on the first mass-produced car, the Honda T360, the leather edge logo is not even an emblem but a very big motif on the face. If we look closer, we can see the leather edge is wider at the top than the bottom which looks like the wings are outstretched and it means that the car product is growing. But the logo also looks like a person who is raising his arms wide to the sky. Looks like an optimistic person to face the world and achieve his dreams. That is what Honda wanted because it was in line with the company's motto, the power of dreams. Just like the Honda Wing logo on motorcycles which continues to develop, the Honda car logo also continues to change until the leather edge is known today. So by the history above, we can conclude that Honda motorcycle is the first. That's it.